Rest is timelessness. That's the meaning for the word rest. God is the eternal principle or creative energy is in the timeless state after performing everything that there is to perform in a time state called creation. Creation exists in time. Now, there really is no time as an actual principle. There is the illusion of time in which creation must exist or appear to exist. Now, in this appearance, a unit of time is the distance light crosses the width of an electron, giving its potentiality as a creation. Now, the width of an electron is a fantastic uh, measurement. If you ever seen an electron, let alone measure its diameter, you have to measure it in millions and millions of kryptons to get the exact measurement of the width of an electron and the speed in the, in which it's traveling across it. Now, light is traveling at 186,000 miles per second. That is accepted measurement per second. Now, one electron, its diameter, the distance across, is trillions of kryptons, let alone a second. It's micro, 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 micro seconds. So there really is no such thing as time. All that exists is infinite motion to the highest degree of ultrasonic movement. The creator is audible life energy. He spoke before he became light. Not a person, it's a principle. Sound precedes the light. But in our relative world in which we live, light seems to come ahead of sound, especially in a thunderclap and lightning. The lightning will be seen first, and then the roar of the thunder is after. But in the cosmic realm of timelessness, the sound is first and the light is after. In fact, the light is too slow for the sound. Come, let us do something. Let there be light. The command has to be given before the force can go out. So sound is responsible for light, audible life current. It's audible. Why? Because you can hear it. You can hear the life current inside your own body. It's there. There is a music going on in you, if you can listen to it. And those who have heard the music know that they are listening to their own true creator for the first time that God is bliss, that sound current gives you bliss. Hearing it is one, O oh man. Feeling it is another thing. But he who can see the Lord in human form has seen him at his best. How about answer my question, would you? <laughs> You've been evading this. <laughs> Thank you. You want to ask a question again? <laughs> uh, about this time, my time as I get closer to the end, he's coming from the fifth realm, okay? I mean, that's where he's going to end, the intuitive realm. So he cannot. He has to abide by Cal's rules. Right. He has to abide by the time cycle. Everything in this relative world is synchronized to time because it's created in a time cycle, which is a relative existence and not an actual existence. The creative force field, the audible life current, the Shabbat or Satnam, is that pure essence that exists in timelessness and grants permission it grants permission to its lower nature call the time cycles to make a creation god is a sagittarian in opposition to scorpio in the astrological belt therefore no matter how scorpio try he can't overrun sagittarius <coughs> See? 
In other words, if you understand astrology now, the, the science of light, then you'll understand a great deal more. We are beings of light. The whole universe began in the constellation of Sagittarius. It is the only symbol in the astrological belt that's male or man, an animal, and is equipped with depth, the power to destroy, that it's armed. Every other symbol is not armed to protect itself. It must have the power of life over death. That's why the symbol was chosen for it. The creative force must have that control and cannot entrust that control to other forms of the creation. But the other forms of creation or the other symbols in the astrological process do have the ability to kill themselves or to perform violence. But they don't have the power of life over death to determine who should perform it. Only in the Sagittarian you see the centaur or the archer with the bow and the arrow, which is the justice point, which is the self-destructive principle, and at the same time is upholding the law. Now, Scorpio can only kill itself or sting you. But it can be destroyed by the Sagittarian. And every other one can be killed by the Sagittarian because the Sagittarian is the one that is armed. The rest are not armed in this cosmic cycle. And in the cosmic clock in which we live in, of 24,000 years on the descending arc, and 24,000 years of the ascending arc, <coughs> we exist in the cosmic clock. See? So we have to understand what we're doing. There's 12,000 years this way, and 12,000 years this way, ascending and descending, making 24,000 years in a complete circle. Therefore, our clock is designed to have 24 hours, 12 hours on this, the descent movement and 12 hours on the ascent movement. Man didn't come along by just imagining these things. He had to relate to the galaxies. He brought his religion from the galaxies. His religion is not a religion or an invention of the earth world. From the time the Creator created us, He set into the process all there is known as the path of the master or the audible life currents. So if you go back to your scriptures, you will see it's a galactic system involved. In the beginning was the word. In the galactic center, such calm, or Alpha Centauri, or the grand center, just between that point, the cosmic life force is vibrating or pulsating. And the word was with God. The force field is in total consciousness there and beingness. And the word is God. That makes all the difference when John wrote his works. The word is. If he said the word can be God or ought to be God, this would then throw a different light on the subject that man would be searching now for his soul. But because he said the word is God, man don't search for his soul no more. Man is soul. And the word was made flesh. That means the creative process became his universe himself by his own time cycles. Out of his timeless nature, he designed a time cycle. He made himself into a lower level of existence by setting up a relative creation based on light and time and space and put it in a continuum that means in an infinity action that will be here for as long as we hold it together by karmic law now jesus said when he was in the body though heaven and earth may pass away change their form not one word or jot or tittle of my word shall pass away. Now, a jot is a full stop. A tittle is a comma. That's old-fashioned English. 
So not one jot, not one full stop, not one comma in the, the actual sound frequencies that are released by the voice of the being can ever go out of existence. You can't take out the ideations of existence out of the universe, though you can change their atomic change. So when my time has not yet come, he could not enforce a dictatorial dominance in the time cycle because he's a master to prove to those who live in the time cycle his superiority. He has to respect when in Rome, do like the Romans. When you're in a time cycle, work with the time cycle. So he had to work by divine will. He therefore was at the right place, the right time, for the right confrontation at a wedding, and for the right experience to, to behave without forcing his will. He had to be asked before he do anything. And that is primarily the role of a living master who has mastered himself. The role of the soul living in a time cycle that knows no boundary lines save love. By the mere love for the creative force field, he is passing through the time cycles in which he himself is responsible, but he dare not break it. Now Caesar is not above his law. The master is not above the law. He obeys the law, but he shows by his love the law has no control over him. He approaches every condition by facing it and pass through it. And all that time asks us as a human being to face your principles, face your obligations. So if you're facing it, then you're a master of it. If you're not facing it, you're running, and then you're avoiding. And when you avoid, you have to come back and do it all over again. That's what it's called doing it a second time. You're not overcoming. Now, the highest form of therapy for a schizophrenic individual or any neurotic individual is to fight back. Mother, I'd rather do it myself. If you have that type of attitude, you want to do it and fight back, you will break down the patterns that hold you back and you will not avoid or run. Then you transcend. So, involvement is the key word in spiritual growth. Forget your origin. Your origin is established that God has become you, therefore you are soul. You don't have a soul. Realize your involvement because you're alive and you have a commitment to yourself to face the time cycles and their repercussions. And the journey is towards emergence from reincarnation to resurrection. We do not have to reincarnate, we have to resurrect. All right, put some ice cream on top of it. <laughs> now you know what my time has not yet come. You understand it? My question. <laughs> <laughs> he had to be asked. Now, no master will usurp that right. Though he, is, he has the power to crystallize thought, he cannot, because then he would be exhibiting his ego. Ego is best recognized as hurrying to do something too fast without waiting on the Lord's dispensation. That's another way of looking at your ego. Now we're coming to Confucius. Confucius put it that way. You're in a hurry to do something and not waiting on the dispensation of the Lord for his time to let you express it. You know when you want to do something badly, you're chomping at the bits? And you got to be doing it? Who are you doing it for? The people that need it or for your own self-expression to impress them? Yet if you wait and don't get aggravated, sooner or later 
that what you have to do will happen. Have you never experienced that? Then you learn lesson number one in the spiritual life. Watch out, don't eat your own words back. Because you're going to always eat them back. And the verbs and the adjectives and the A's and the B's and C's, all the letters, they can stick in that uh, throat there and give you tonsillitis. No, this is the problem. Yes, and uh, many of us get uh, burping, you know. Yeah, burp up some of the uh, A's and the B's. So, spiritual life is that particular life that throws us into a situation where we may have to eat our own words back by being in a hurry. And you ever hear the people say, I wouldn't do this, I ain't going to do this no more? What they end up doing in the next half hour? <laughs> because that's exactly how the creative intelligence works in us to make us realize that our ego is locked into the time cycle and the time cycle is going to throw us the confrontation immediately to make us face it, to eat our own words back. So if you're not in a hurry, you just wait and don't push, sooner or later you're going to get the experience. <laughs> Good life. When you're in a hurry, that's what Jesus says, by time has not come. He ain't in a hurry. In fact, he was very, very slow. All that he did, if you take the scriptures and put them all the things that he did, they can be all done in 24 hours. All the so-called miracles of the three and a half years of physical existence can be all put done in 24 hours. The ability to crystallize thought doesn't take too long. And if it doesn't take too long to crystallize them, how many miracles could he perform in 24 hours? 60 seconds make a minute, 60 minutes make an hour, 24 hours make a day, how many miracles you got? That, that's uh, thousands of miracles you're performing. All right? So we know that even the crystallizing of people's thoughts, he had to teach them the lesson of patience. And even some of the, the people he could not help. You realize that? Did he not say himself, with these people I can do nothing? A master does not alter the thought patterns of people who don't want to be altered, that set up their own ego and block it. He works with those who are humble and those who are receptive and those who are karmically linked. For he himself is divine love without coercion. He is unconditional love. Therefore, he is not concerned or would not use the other individual for his personal gain. He has no gain to have by performing a miracle because there is no miracle to perform. He brings their desires into focus by responding to the time cycle when that desire is supposed to crystallize for them. He knows exactly that split second when it is going to happen. And if you live the spiritual life, you'll notice that the spiritual life is photo finish most of the time. Now I'm talking from experience now. <laughs> Those photo finishes, I love you. How I love you, how I love you, my dear old photo finish. <laughs> but you see, photo finish is good. Anyway. Thank you. Let us have our initiate anthem.